hello guys welcome back to codemy we are back with a new dart plus dsa course and in this video we will be learning about loops and what are loops in our previous video we learned about if else statement what are switch statements the condition flow of the application and now we will learn about loops so what are loops so let's say there is this condition where you have to tell your computer to do this given xyz task 10 times now you can sit there and write the code again and again and again unless and until you achieve that result 10 times or you can just wait and just tell the computer or you can tell your machine in such a way that the machine that the machine has to do this task 10 times the second part is always better you can do this by loop so for example, if I have to just print 1 to 10 numbers, instead of typing print number 1, print number 2, print number 3, I can just run that statement into a loop and just update the number that we are printing. And I can tell my code or the computer to run this loop 10 times and stop after this loop has run for the 10th time. So then at the end, I will get the print statement which will have print printing 1 to 10 okay we will be using our dart over here to start with our playground over here and we can practice our dart language in this if you don't know how to create dart playground check my previous video where i have mentioned how we can create a dart playground in vs code so let us start so first we will start with a while loop okay while loop is the most easiest kind of loop where you just have to write the while keyword over here and you have to give a condition and the code will execute unless and until this condition is true unless and until this condition is true this code will keep on executing itself so for example let's say the condition is i'll create a variable on top over here int number is equal to zero and let's say if number is less than 10 i want the value of number to increment and i also want to print a number okay so unless and until the value of number is less than 10 this block of code will keep on running let's see i'll just hit a run button over here and you can see over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what happened? First time the number went inside this while loop. It checked the conditions. For example, number is 0. Okay, is the number less than 10? Yes, the number is less than 10. Then what we want? Number plus plus. We incremented the number and then we are printing the number. That's why we cannot see 0 over here. Because 0 became 1. Okay, 0 became 1. If I will just shift this print on top and now if I will run this loop, you will see it will start with 0 and end at 9. So let's see this. While number is less than 10, I want to print this number first and then I want my number to be incremented. So from 0, this will become 1. Again, it will get back in the while loop it will check is 1 less than 10 yes it is less than 10 so it will print that number and it will increment its value again it will go inside this while loop now the value is 2 now is the value 2 less than 10 yes the value 2 is less than 10 so it will print the number and then it will increment the number as well like this when the number becomes 9 is the number 9 less than 10 yes it is less than 10 then it will print the number and increment the number okay so number 9 will get printed over here and then it will be incremented to number 10 then it will come back to our while loop and then is number 10 less than number 10 the answer is no because number 10 is equal to number 10 so here the while loop will exit so we just printed numbers from 0 to 9 in just a in just a small amount of code that we have written over here 
so this is how a while loop works so we write the while keyword we pass a condition and as long as this condition is true this block of code will keep on working continuously so here if i'll just remove our number plus plus from here right now so we will find ourselves in an infinite loop why because while the number 0 is less than 10 we are printing number so let's see what happens right now i'll just take this on top so that you can see it and i'll run print command and you can see it will keep on printing 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 till we reach at a point where our system will crash or we will be out of RAM. I don't know what will happen. But this is kind of an infinite loop. Why? Because we are not incrementing the number. So no matter what, our number is always 0 and it is still repeating this process. So let me just stop it from here. And this is a lot of log that has been printed over here as you can see so let me just close to this and bring this on top again okay please don't try to do this at home it might cause severe problems now the another loop that we have is called as a do while loop okay so just let me write this over here also so what this do while loop does we'll take the same example so here in the while loop we gave the condition first like when this condition is true then only we want to print or we want to execute this block if this condition is false we don't want to execute this block so if i'll just write 11 over here and hit print this block won't run at all okay this block won't run at all because this is going to check the condition at the start now let us shift to our do while block. So I'll comment this. So I'll write do. And in this, I will write the code that I want to exec execute. So I will write, let me just make this number back to zero as it was beforehand. And I will write the condition over here. While the condition is number less than 10 and I will write number plus plus over here okay so now if I run this yes fine we are getting the same value from 0 to 9 we are getting the same value so what is happening first it is printing the number then it is incrementing the number it is checking if this number is less than 10 if the value is less than 10 it will go back into our loop and then it will print the number again but there is one small difference in do and do while loop now let me just change this value to 11 as we did that in while loop and you saw that the while loop was not getting executed at all let me change this value to 11 and then now let me hit the run button yeah we can see 11 printed so what is happening is the number is 11 it is coming inside our do block of code where it is printing the number okay it is printing the number 11 then the number is getting incremented so the number becomes 12 over here and then it enters a condition while number 12 is less than 10 no it falls but it has already executed this block of code and then it is checking the condition so a do while loop will run minimum one times no matter the given condition is true or false it will run at least once before checking the condition and then if it checks the condition and the condition false then it will stop but it has already executed the block beforehand so we are seeing 11 is already printed over here now this is the basic difference between do and a while block okay now let's come to our for loop for loops are pretty common and they are very famous usually people try to use for loops for loops because they are easy to understand they are easy to execute so this is how the for loop is we will print again numbers up to 10 
till for loop so for okay and we create the variable inside the condition itself inside the for loop itself variable i is equal to 0 okay i is less than 10 we want the value of i to increment so i plus plus this is our for loop so it starts with initializing a variable creating a condition and then incrementing that value the index value this i is a short form for index okay and i'll do is print i let's see what we get same so what happens is the variable is created over here i is equal to 0 it checks the condition is i less than 10 yes i is less than 10 if i is less than 10 it will print it come back 0 is i less than 10 yes increment the value print it so this loop will keep on repeating itself 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 until this condition satisfies once this condition is satisfied our loop won't execute again so you can see we have our loop print numbers from 0 to 9 okay this is for loop for loop is usually used when you have to go through the list of data and to find the arrays or some specific item from an array or you want to sort your lists for loop is used at that places so it is like initialization condition and action so like this is the initialization over here this is the condition that we are giving and what you want after this condition is matching so i want to be i plus plus over here so increment the value we can also decrement it so let's say i is equal to 10 is greater than 0 we want to print i and then we are decrementing the value if i will hit run over here we will get values in reverse now so 10 9 8 7 6 5 and 1 so we just reversed a for loop of printing numbers from 10 to 1 now we will see for in loop let's say we have a list of numbers so list list of numbers i'll just write over here list of numbers so now what we'll do is we will use our for in loop so so we will use a for in loop to print the numbers which are greater than five okay we will print the numbers which are greater than five so here i will write for var number in numbers if number is greater than 5 print number now if i'll run i'll get numbers 6 7 8 9 10 printed so let me run this and you can see 6 7 8 9 10 so what we did we had a list and now we wanted to run a loop which will find out the items which are greater than the given condition in the list so what it does is we created a variable like for var number this variable in numbers so this is the list so this variable would be any number from the list that we have created the list that we have created or given for our for in loop and then we check the condition if number is greater than 5 then I want to print the number else I don't want this number to be printed that's why we just got numbers from 6 to 10 this is how a for in loop works let's say we have numbers first hundred numbers okay let's say we have first hundred numbers so I hope you understand what is a for in loop now let us check a for each loop okay for each loop so let's say i have a data over here let's say i have 
list i have a list which has a map of string dynamic data type say pokemons right pokemons are fun and we'll add some data over here we have pikachu which is an electric type we have bulbasaur we have charmander and then we have squirrel okay so like this is the list that we have right now over here of data and thanks to copilot for making this very easier for me to type this data okay we have this data now let's say i want to run a for each loop to just print only the names of all the pokemons so what i'll do is i'll create a for each loop so pokemons dot for each and we get the element over here i'll just write print element name and i'll change this element to pokemon so it makes sense and i'll copy this pokemon over here and now if i'll just hit run i'll get the list i'll get a list of all the pokemon names so it's printing pikachu bulbasaur charmander squirtle we got all the pokemons so this is how a for each loop works we can add extra conditions over here for example if pokemon level is greater than 5 then only we want it to print so what i'll do is just for sake i'll put charmander level as 2 and then if i'll just hit run i don't want this print statement and now if i'll just hit run you can see pikachu squirtle so if the level is greater than 5 so even bulbasaur is skipped and even charmander is skipped we got pikachu and then we got squirtle so this is how you can use for each loop to iterate over the list of data that you have and query your data so for each loop is usually used when you have a list of data or you have some map string of data to get the exact value that you want or to query your database okay then today we learned while loop we also learned do while loop we learned for loop we learned for in loop and we also learned for each loop okay in the next video we will start with our uh, dsa i hope the basics of dart language is done if you have any doubts or any questions regarding the dart language you can just go back and check my previous videos in that i have covered some of the basic topics of dart language which will help you to understand your dsa and while doing dsa if there are some topics which are difficult to understand of course we will cover those topics at that time okay guys bye bye take care don't forget to like 